we are going to try and get the game winning kill whilst floating with balloons above the map. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Guys, welcome to another Fortnite update day. Today is all about the balloons. Not the biggest update in the world, but alongside that, a lot of things have changed, including the removing of weapons, changing of things in game, which will alter the way that we now play Fortnite. And we also have a brand new spooky team leader skin. You can see me pick it up on screen here. If you pick it up or anything else in the store, make sure you use Hey It's Me Ali A as your supporter creator code. Shout out to all of these guys that have done it. And if you do it, drop me a picture and you could be shouted out in the very next video. Video. So thank you guys for everyone that's doing it. So we're gonna jump into some action today where we will be using this brand new balloon item all the way from the beginning pretty much to the literally actually to the end of the game as I keep those balloons on me the whole time and mess around with them. These balloons are classified as epic rarity but I've been seeing them all over the map. Once you pick them up in a packet you get 20 deployable balloons. You can inflate up to six of them at a time which will float you up into the air and you can get rid of one and add one in whenever you want as long as you've got enough balloons balloons left in your inventory and uh, they're definitely an interesting way to get around and as I said we're messing around with them today trying to go for some awesome balloon kills. And the other big change is the fact that for explosive damage of any sort, so that's grenades, that's launches, anything that does explosive damage will deal 25% of its damage through structures and the environment. So if you're sat in a one by one trying to camp and someone RPGs you, damage can go through structures now. So be careful. That's one of the big things I wanted to test out today. So you'll actually see me pick up the quad launcher and try and use that in combination with the balloons. It is so much fun. On top of that, some minor map changes. Uh, you'll see piano keyboards all around the map. That's to do with the week six challenges. You can actually jump on those uh, notes and make yourself your own tunes. If anyone makes anything awesome, definitely tweet it at me. But you can find those in different locations which you do to complete the week six challenge. On top of that, I landed at Der Burger, and it looks like Der Burger is being shut down and uh, sold, or maybe they're just changing what they're selling because the burger has been crossed out on the doors, and there was now a tomato head pizza van just outside. So I'm not sure if that's going to take over Der Burger as a new food they'll be selling, but quite a sad day for poor Der Burger. Lost the burger on top of it after the rift took it, and now it looks like it's going to be shutting down. But that is not all. There's also some spooky floating items that seem to be haunted all over the map. There's quite a few of them actually in Vikings Landing. So keep an eye out for all of these little tiny map changes. As we see with each week of updates, they're always messing around with the map. Let's see what will happen with poor Der Burger. Talking about map changes, just in case you didn't hear yesterday, this Sunday there'll be a live in-game event which is happening at 1pm ET time. Translated to all the other worldwide times, I'll put a few on screen here. But basically, make sure you're tuning in on Sunday, I'm going to be covering this live event. It will be the finale, or at least the next stage of the cube event. It's going to be absolutely huge. You do not want to miss it. I cannot wait. So Sunday is going to be a big, big day, guys, just in case you didn't know. Just a few more things, and I say just a few more, but they are very big things before we jump into the live gameplay that you're seeing behind me with the balloons. Firstly, leaked skins. There are absolutely loads and loads of them. I'm not too sure if this is giving us hints as to what will be happening after the cube event, if some sort of new theme will be transitioning into the world of Fortnite. So I'm pretty sure all of these skins won't be coming out before Sunday. So take a look and let me know what you think. Firstly, we've got a female version, an epic skin rarity of the female riding the unicorn, which obviously is fake to go along with this season's uh, male version where he's riding the llama, which is very, very cool. We've got an instinct and also a male and female version reflex skin um, where these guys are all wrapped up in some really cool body armor. We've got Flap Jackie, which goes along with Growler, who looks like it's wearing giant puffer jacket skins to cover their face, which looks unusual. I think it's the best way to describe that. We've got the Rukta skin and then the Mayhem skin to go along with that as well. And then also a brand new Samurai skin in the form of Shogun. And then obviously the Spooky Team Leader skin came out today. They've all got their equivalent back bling, gliders and all of that good stuff. 
So I think we're going to be seeing that stuff after this cube event. Whether or not these skins are giving us a hint as to what is going to be happening, I'm not too sure because the skins themselves are a little bit wild. But as I said, Sunday everything will be revealed and I cannot wait. The last thing I'm going to tell you guys is that we do have some sad news. Weapons, in fact three of them have been removed from Fortnite and still be found in Playgrounds mode. But you will no longer be seeing these semi-auto snipers. Rip. You will no longer be seeing, again, the guided missile launcher. Second rip. And the third rip is the fact that the dual pistols are gone. I know a lot of people did like them. They could be very, very powerful indeed. So all three of those weapons are no longer in the game. They've been vaulted to make room, no doubt, for more weapons that will be coming in the future. Whew, there's always so much to update you guys on. If you aren't already, make sure you subscribe to the latest daily Fortnite news and information and gameplay right here. I don't want to keep you guys any longer. If you're excited to see the balloon in action and some crazy stunts with the guided missile messing around with the new explosive damage through structures, Give it a thumbs up. Let's jump into today's action as I take the balloon all the way to the end and play some Fortnite. You know what, guys? I'm done with retail row. Let's pop as many of these balloons. Well, actually, popping the balloons is, does not make any sense when it comes to using balloons. Let's blow up as many balloons as we can and fly over and just see if we can spot anyone. With these new rocket changes, what I want to do, my plan is... Oh, no. We're reaching max height. They're starting to break. No! I don't have too many of these. I can't do this for too much longer. I want to try and fall from the balloons and shoot someone with my quad launcher and then just float down to my safe landing using the redeploy feature. All in one epic moment of Fortnite Battle Royale. Someone's just broken a tree. Here is our target. What are they up to? I do love, by the way, the candy pumpkin lighting the uh, bright eye back bling with this skin. It's so cool. I reckon we can give this a go. She's got no idea what hit her. Here we come. Okay, that didn't quite work. She's scared already, though. She's real scared. You should be. Ooh, see you later, shield. No more shield for you. You know what? No, 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 reload. Woo! <laughs> Did not realize how much little ammo I had there. <laughs> We're good though. Okay, first attempt at trying to balloon down to someone with the quad launcher wasn't too successful. Um, and honestly, in terms of uh, item management, holding no shields, this is freaking me out just a little bit. But it's a new update. You gotta keep the new item on you. So we may only have five balloons at the moment, but honestly, despite the fact that these things are purple epic, I'm finding them all over the place. So I'm gonna keep hold of them and just try and grab a new stack of them. And see what we can do to the next person we find. Ooh, we found someone. I've yet to actually be shot by an explosive whilst trying to hide from it. So, I mean, 25% of damage. What a legendary RPG does. Was it 120 or so? So 15% about about 30 damage. It's not too much. And he's stolen. Were there balloons left here or minis left here? I can't even remember. I think he's actually looted that person though. That's my loot. Come back. I need some, a fresh set of balloons. If you can bring me some fresh set of balloons, I'll be more than happy. Don't worry, okay? I'll let you off. I'll let you off. I don't know. He's definitely still in there. He's either legged it or he's still in the house. I saw this chest as we floated high, high above from the balloons. So thank you, balloon, for the little uh, sneak peek here. Let's see. If he's in here, these can actually go through, obviously, any surface and may deal a little bit of damage. No, uh, not quite, unfortunately. Oh, well, maybe he's just gone running. Or he... She's... That is disgusting. And there's a second chest here as well. I'm pretty sure she walked away with, some, with the balloons that were left there. Yeah, she did. Look at that. A little packet of balloons ready and waiting. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a full pack, though. So let's see how many she has. Hopefully more than the seven that we left behind earlier. Twelve. Okay, not too bad. As I said, though, not having a single, having to leave as many behind is hurting me quite a lot. I'm sticking with this arguably very stupid, but potentially absolutely awesome strategy of falling from above and trying to hit them with this quad launcher. Also, by the way... I don't know if it's a glitch, but I'm pretty sure the quad launcher isn't meant to do 100 damage. I don't know why we took that guy out so quickly, because two hits, 
it's gonna kill anyone with the quad launch, I'm pretty sure it's only meant to be like 70 or 80 damage or so. So I'm not sure Fortnite have messed up there, or if they buffed the quad launcher on purpose. But whilst I got it in my hands, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> Honestly, I think I may... I'm gonna see what the supply drop has for me. And I may drop the P90, just so I have one spot for a little bit of shield. Because I'm just a little bit too on edge right now. And honestly, one of the biggest things with the zombies, and it's not long until they go. You've only got a few days, guys, to do the Fortnite Mare challenges before the zombies disappear. The excess of loot, that is what we like to see. Now, that is what we like to see. The legendary sniper. Um, but the excess amount of loot is just ridiculous. The amount of spare shields, the amount of spare weapons, the amount of spare healables I get. And I'm sure you guys are the same from all of the zombies. I spend most of my time standing there trying to question which items I should be taking with me because there's so much loot. And sometimes I get killed just because I can't decide on what I should be uh, taking with me. Now, I know if this is only one mini, but I'm pretty sure there's another mini over by this guy as well we took him out. So, at least two's a little bit of spare shield just in case we get hit, a, hit about a little bit. Still got 12 balloons. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I'm glad, you know... They may call it an epic uh, epic rarity item, and it seems a little bit more common than that, but it's better than saying it's blue or green, and they're actually nowhere to be seen. So at least we're finding them pretty easy. You don't flow up as quick as I want to. Really, I don't know if it's an item I'll ever use again. It's, it's quite cool to get to max height, um, or get really high up, and if you're not looking... Let's not forget, it's like pretty much silent as well. Off goes someone over there. So, you're pretty much a ninja floating in the sky, but people are gonna get used to it. And the balloons do pop when you get high as well, so... It's not not the perfect getaway strategy, but hey, certainly a fun one. Ooh, someone's on the hill. I think he may have seen me. Has he seen me? He's definitely looking over here. I think I've been spotted, mate. Oh. Oh, I think he was shooting this person. And off he goes. He's in the same direction as me. This is not good. Peek out! You love to see it. Wasn't even meant to be looking for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Lucky for you, I was already eyeing you up that shot. And that other person that floated away. Storm's not going to touch us. Let's go. May not see... No, they're building up. Hold on. They're building up. This is a good chance, actually. 14 rockets. Holy cow. When did we pick up that many? This is a good chance to test it out, actually. I think I got a hit there. Come on. This is one zombie. Get out of here. What are you doing? I think we put a little bit of damage on him. Only 25% is not as much. Oh my god. I peed for way too long there. Can't even lie. I'm going to block it. Ow. Come on. Let's go. Whoa! Oh, that was a zombie. I was like, how have I done 250 not killed him? Again, absolutely no idea why it's dealing 100 damage. I think that's meant to be happening. I'm not too sure here, but... Are you about to run into the storm? Come on now. None of that. None of that. Didn't even have too many good weapons. I think he nailed me with the deagle? Or maybe he just headshot me the blue AR. Either way, took off a decent amount of my shield. Only three people left. Still the potential for double digits, and considering it's been messing around with a new balloon, I'm pretty happy with this. If we could get the final kill, the final game winning victory royale kill, floating up in the sky and then falling down with the uh, quad launcher. Or even, I have heard rumours of people falling down and no scoping with snipers on someone. That would be disgusting. Anything like that? It's a big ask, I know, but anything like that would be amazing. Alright, I want to get... I mean, this is... Wailing Woods is a weird one this season because people could be hiding anywhere underground. And the trees aren't, aren't even a bad place to land anymore. Sitting on top of a tree and just floating your way off. All three of the remaining players could be on their own individual tree right now. That is a slightly scary thought, but honestly very, very feasible. But the good thing is about going on structures that are already made like this is that they've got so many bits to their... To, like, their foundations, that the zombies can't easily break them. And that's my biggest fear with, <laughs> with these zombies, that it's going to break whatever I'm on. And I'm going to come crumbling down in the middle of a gunfight. Someone? 
Someone over there? I think someone... A little bit overkill. I'm pretty sure that guy died way after you stopped shooting. Am I hitting him? No, he's got shoot. Okay, this is so hard to know what I'm actually shooting at. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He was trying to balloon. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay. We're in the final 1v1. He's over there. Everything reloaded. Bit of extra shield. Why not? Alright, let's go for it, lads. You can see me! Go on! No! This is going to get me killed, isn't it? This, is, this dumb tactic is going to get me killed. Somehow still alive. I actually don't think I should have shot that zombie for the six shield that I got. I think it just gave my position away. Oh, 20 damage. That's not 25%. Maybe it said 25. I'm just blind. This is it, guys. Our last balloons. No more after this. We're going to float as high as we can go. And we're going to try and get the game winning kill. Whilst floating with balloons above the map. Are you ready for this? Breaking down trees. Either he is or the zombies are. Look at this! Oh my gosh, my balloons are popping! Oh, four rockets. Here we go. After four. No! So close! No, I, I think I made it. I don't know. This is the perfect spot to land, though. Not have asked for a better spot here. One on either side. Pod launcher, man. I'm loving you. Couldn't really give you much time of the day before, but. Oh, you've got a rough position to move. This should be GG. We've got no balloons to confirm the kill with, unfortunately, but. Come on. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, man! That was fun, I can't even lie. Just messing around with the balloons in itself is a real good laugh. There's a lot of potential there, a lot of potential. It takes you so freaking high. If we weren't with all of those trees everywhere and I could see the person below me a little bit better, 100% could have nailed at least one of those uh, quad launcher rockets onto them. That would be an amazing ending. But guys, so much new in today's update. Despite the fact that balloons itself is just a small part of it. Let me know what you think of them. Let me know if you're enjoying them. Let me know if you've done anything cool with them. Shout out to everyone that's using Hey, It's Me, Ali. As a supporter creator in the store, you guys are amazing. If you got more Fortnite videos down below in the playlist, as always, all of them are always in net. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.